Hello and welcome to this week's video message. If you've had the opportunity to be following along in this series around reviving, renovating, and transforming oneself, we have discussed recognizing the need to revive and transform things in your life that are no longer working. We also talked about giving your mindset a renovation to be open to a transformation. Then we went on to talk about opening up the walls and taking a look to see what's inside. Demolition day. Determine if the walls or the layout in your house need a change to the floor plan. If it doesn't make sense or doesn't add value, then it is no longer needed. If it isn't helping to keep up the foundation or bearing the load of your structure, take it down. This week, I want to talk to you about ensuring that you are staying on track and remaining focused while working through your transformation. As you are going through this transition of your renovation, you will find that there are people or obstacles that will try to stop you from reaching your goal. We oftentimes have those people that have no problem cheering us on or being there for us as long as it is convenient for them. But the minute that you are showing more progression or having an ounce of happiness that does not involve them, they go from being your defender and cheerer to your doubter. The minute that that person becomes a doubter or a person who is not planting a seed of positivity, it is time to have a conversation. It is not just having one conversation, it is having a multitude of conversations and starting with yourself. Asking yourself, is this person adding any value or bringing any level of enhancement to my life? Not asking yourself, is this person completing me? Because I believe and live on the stance that as a child of God, I am already whole. So anything that you bring to this situation or relationship it will be an enhancement or a continuation of value. The other conversation, once you assess if this is still a positive experience with that person, and then you determine that it is not, you need to have a conversation letting them know that this is no longer working for you. This current behavior or attitude that they, are, they have while you are trying to be great is, some, is not something that you need. If they can't understand that and they, make, and they don't make any adjustments or willingness to make an adjustment, then they don't value the relationship. If they have a million and one reasons or excuses and aren't even trying to see where you are coming from, it is time to let them go. I have people that often say to me, you aren't the same as you were before as time has gone on. And while in my mind, that is a good thing because that means that I am evolving and developing myself. And maybe you weren't a part of the evolution. I gave you the tools to understand that I was making adjustments and provided you the wisdom to be able to continue on and you chose either to ignore it or to see that you were in the right and I was in the wrong. A part of remaining focused on your renovation is being okay with leaving people where they are. In 2 John chapter 1, verse 10 through 11, it states, if anyone comes to you and does not bring this doctrine, do not receive him into your house, nor greet him. For he who greets himself, him shares in his evil deeds. So if you aren't bringing me the teachings or the faith-based words of wisdom or living a life in a faith-based or even positive way, I don't need your friendship, your words, or anything. Because if you're not bringing the doctrine, then there is nothing more that needs to be said. So to recap, we have recognized the need for a renovation. We have started construction on our spiritual house, 
torn down the walls and exposed the foundation and beams, completed demolition day. We determine what is working and what can be torn down and redesigned. And now we have been reminded that we must remain focused on our path through our renovation into our transformation. That people are going to try and knock you off your path, but you must stay on track. Some seasons are a little longer than others. Some seasons are a little bit tougher than the last. But as long as you remain focused and not allow those person or persons to slow you down, discourage you off your path, if you aren't with me as a cheerer or defender against the devil, then you are a doubter trying to pull me down a path that will stop me from reaching my goal. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for helping us understand that we must stay on track. We have a path that you have laid out for us, and it is indeed up to us to continue on that path to righteousness. Lord, please continue to bless those who watch over this nation. Bless those who are struggling with their own battles. Battles of being able to have those conversations and let folks know that their ways and behavior is no longer working for them. Lord, please continue to help those who are still battling with a nation and a world of people who want normalcy, but still want to be safe that they may find ways to make decisions that is best for all and in no way a popularity gain. We ask all these things in your name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to this message. I hope it has touched and blessed you. We will continue through this series of preparing and getting through your renovation for the big transformation. And as always,